The pro-union organization Game Workers Unite is currently working with the staff of a dozen different studios, looking to arm those individuals with the tools needed to start the unionization conversation. Polygon reports that Game Workers Unite is actively working with devs from at least 12 established studios in North America to provide the resources and training those teams will need if they want to establish a union among negotiating aid for terms of employment and compensation. In some cases, Game Workers Unite is working alongside an unnamed existing labor union, though organization co-founder Emma Keenum says that most of those dev teams are relying on resources from Glue alone. It's about learning to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with people, learning about the issues that are affecting them in the workplace, and representing how those can be addressed with collective action. He named old Polygon, how to organize a bargaining committee, and an organizing committee on things like that, but also how to do things safely and securely under the watch of the employer for as long as possible. The topic of labor issues and unionization boiled to a point following several conversations about studio closures, excessive crunch, and sudden layoffs that took place this year, leading to the formation of Game Workers Unite. The organization names to, as laid out in a blog post about its recent recognition as a union in the United Kingdom. Increase the quality of life for game workers by seeking to end the institutional practice of excessive and unpaid overtime, improve diversity and inclusion at all levels, support boost and harass workers, and secure a steady and living wage for all. From Flow World O Journey, T H A T G A M E C O M P A N Y S G A M E S have a penchant for showcasing innovative and Beautiful ways of telling stories. Now the studio is working on a multiplayer game, Sky, and at the 2019 Game Developers Conference you will get to see how they rebuilding its narrative structure to evoke emotion. As part of the BD 2019 Game Narrative Summit, that game company writer Danny Khan will be presenting a talk on Evolving emotional storytelling in that game company's sky, which should help illuminate how the studio builds emotional narratives using key examples from the development of Sky, a game anchored in connection and altruism. Khan will present the studio's unique reiterative method to finding the emotional engine for their story and player narrative. This includes a look at the studio's approach on evolving the linear structure to create multiplayer emotion, creating a world with layered nonverbal story content, and crafting compassionate behavior within a community through beta testing narrative design. Do not skip it. For more details on this talk and many more, check out THEGTC 2000 and 19 session scheduler. There you can begin to lay out your DD week, which takes place March 18th through the 10th to at the newly renovated Moscone Center in San Francisco. Bring your team to DD, register a group of 10 or more and save 10% in conference passes. Learn more here. For more details on NGDC 2000 and 19 visit the show's official website. Are subscribed to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, RSS, Godot Sutra and DD are sibling organizations under parent company and former newsbrief. Pub Mobile is officially surpassed 200 million registered users and, according to The Verge, currently boasts about 30 million daily active users. That figure is a notable achievement for any game. But especially so far Pong's in its primary battle royale competitor, Epic Games, Fortnite, only crossed that same 200 million player threshold last month. The Verge says that player unknown's Battlegrounds 200 million count only includes plays of Pi Mobile.
meaning that it does not include those who have purchased the battle royale game on PC and console, and it does not include any of the pod players in China. Razer and Microsoft are collaborating to release a wireless keyboard and mouse combo designed specifically for the X1. This news comes after Microsoft finally brought mouse and keyboard support to effect and so last month. Although the new feature seems to only be available at Xbox Insiders, it will eventually be opened up to all players. But at an unspecified date, dub the Razer turret. It features a full-size mechanical keyboard with a dedicated DAX key that pulls up the X1 dashboard. The mouse is modeled after the original mode wireless mouse and can sit on a retractable base that slides out from the keyboard. Predictably, the turret is also compatible with PC, so players can switch back and forth between platforms as they wish. The Razer turret costs as $250 United States D and is currently available for pre-order on the Microsoft Store. Mac Max Games, a clay mod platformer Celeste, has sold over 500.000 copies since launching back in January. Game director and designer Matt Dawson brought the news on Twitter and promised to update Celeste with some new farewell levels in 2019. First month programmer Noel Barry initially created a prototype of Celeste for the Pico 8 Virtual Game Console during a third day game jam. That early version of the game has since been dubbed Celeste Classic and contained 30 challenging levels designed to test the skills of platforming aficionados and speedrunners. Eventually, Thorson and Barry decided to turn their prototype into a full fledged release and brought the finished product to the Nintendo Switch. X1, PlayStation 4, Windows, Linux, and Macos earlier this year. Blue Point Games has a reputation for technical excellence. One built on shipping everything from Deck at the War Collective and told us, your schedule of the closest remake. And at the 2019 game developers conference you will get an inside look at how the studio ships its remarkable collections and remakes. As part of the D2019 X programming track of the talks, Blue Point Games technical director Peter Dalton will provide an overview of the studio's technical pipeline in Beyond the Remake of Shadow of the Colossus, a technical perspective. Using lots of examples from Blue Point's own projects, Dalton will share strategies for building flexible systems that make it's easier to support the unique problems each game presents. He will also present Kid Insight Sinto, the major triple A titles, under a remake, with the night words guiding and inspiring fellow deaths to push the technical limits of their own work. Do not miss it. Further details on these talks and many more are available now on THEGDC 2019 session scheduler. There you can begin to lay out your GD 2019, which takes place March 18th through the 10th to at the newly renovated Moscone Center in San Francisco. Bring your team to GD, register a group of 10 or more and save 10% in conference passes. Learn M-O-R-A-H-E-R-A. For more details on GDC 2000, and 19 visit the show's official website. I subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, or God out such and DD as sibling organizations under parent company and former. The United States government's Federal Commission on School Safety has released the final copy of a report on school safety. The report was commissioned to research and recommend solutions to advance the safety of schools in the United States. Following a mass shooting at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School earlier this year, the report itself is broken down into three sections, prevent, protect and mitigate, and respond and recover. 
each of which contains several more focused chapters on individual issues and topics. The entire report can be found here. Video games along with movies, music, television, social media, books, and graphic novels are covered in Chapter 7 of the section on Prevention under Violent Entertainment and Rating Systems. According to one study cited in the report, roughly 68% of video games depict violence in some way. This is compared to from the same study. 90% of movies, 60% of TV shows, and 15% of music videos. Children have 24 sevenths access to multiple forms of entertainment at their fingertips. Reads the chapter's opening paragraph. Their exposure to violent entertainment is of particular concern in television, video games, social media, music, movies, graphic novels and books. Violent content is ubiquitous across these platforms, and continues to grow.